guys, it's Chris back here with uh, Prestige Auto. Today we're going to be working on this Ford Expedition. The odometer is not working. Um, it's very common with these for that not to work. So we're going to take out the gauges and show you guys how to fix that. Okay, there's not many tools used for this job. Um, I think it's just a seven millimeter and a flathead screwdriver pretty much pop everything out. I'll show you the steps how to do that. So one of the things I do to make this a little bit easier is turn the key and drop it down all the way down to give you more space right here. And then put on your emergency brake so you don't roll away. All right, there are three seven millimeter screws here, here, and there. We'll get those out. Also, lower the steering wheel down. That gives you more room. And then we're gonna pop this piece off. Just use a screwdriver, get under it. Look down here. Show the camera down here. I just get in this little gap right here. Just kind of push up. Boom. It's loose. And just kind of wiggle it out. Okay, that's out. Also, <clears throat> show the camera over here. We're gonna take out this light switch here. Just put your flathead, there's a little spot there. Put it in and pop it out. And then undo your, your plugs. There's two, there's a little button. Push it in and wiggle it out. Same thing, push it in, wiggle it out. Okay, that's out. Now this whole assembly right here is gonna come out. <clears throat> there's some more seven millimeter screws. There's one here, one there. So we're going to take those out. Okay. So now we're going to pop this piece off. This whole big piece right here. And it just pretty much just snaps out. Just grab it right here and shake it. Grab it right here and shake it. See? Pop it out right here. Come around here and hold the camera, Kathy. Oh, we got Kathy Hasty here. This is the owner of Prestige Auto. All right, come back here and hold the ca the camera. Shine it in there real good. Ah, I didn't take the screw out all the way. Make sure you take all the screws out. It should just pop out real easy. If it doesn't, you forgot to unscrew something. See? Okay, and then there's going to be a couple wires down here, shining here. You got to pop off. Sometimes that can be a little tough. See what I'm gonna do. We're just gonna let it hang like that. <clears throat> we don't have to take it out. So now we've made it to the gauges. Now there's gonna be a seven millimeter here, over here, in all four corners. There's gonna be a seven millimeter. So take those out. By the way, we're doing this because this odometer right here does not light up when you turn on the key. We don't know how many miles is on this, but it's very, very common for Fords. Expedition, Explorer, F-150s. Uh, 
Okay. Cut those loose. See if this will come out. All right. So. The easiest thing, there's this little wire right here. Can you show it, Kathy? This little wire. It runs up to your shifter to show that you're in park, reverse, neutral, whatever. Pop it out. <clears throat> there's a little, there's a little, can you show right here? There's a little black tab right here. There's one on both sides. Just push down and this whole unit slides out. Makes that so much easier. I've seen other people take out the whole bottom of the dash and go down there and take it off from the other side. Too much work. Just pop off those little black tabs. Move it out of the way. Okay. Now there's two plugs in the back. I'm gonna take those out. Just kinda gotta get your hand back there and get them. Let me see. Okay, there's one. There's one on the other side. Just kind of wiggle it around. You can get your hand in there. Okay. Ow. Got it free, and we are out. Okay, so that's how you take it out. Let's go over to the workbench. Okay, so we got the gauges over here at the uh, workbench. <clears throat> We're going to flip it around to get inside of it. And there are a couple T15s that go here. Looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven T15s to get this back plate off. So we're going to get that off. Okay, now we got those screws out. We'll take this back off here, set it over to the side. Now, this is the board we've got to get off. This comes off like this. I think you just kind of pop it up. Okay, so this right here, we're going to unplug this. Just kind of wiggle it. Let me see. Oh, okay, we got that out. Let's take this and flip it around. So you want to check <clears throat> these little prongs right here. That's on the back side where that plugged into. When you unplug that, just flip it around to the other side. And if you look, from what I've saw, this very first one is the most common one to be bad. And if you, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but around the top of it, the soldering is broke. It's not connected. So hopefully, if we fill that, that's going to make it work again. The other ones look pretty good, but we may put a drop on it anyways. On all of them. Was I not holding it upright? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll bring it in. So this is the other side. This first one, it's hard to see in the video. But you get what I'm saying. The first one right there check it out and then put some solder on it see if it fixes it
Okay, so I got the ends soldered up. Both ends, they look cracked. The other ones are okay. So we're gonna put it back together and give it a test. Okay, so we're gonna take this, flip it back around. Flip it around and plug this back in. Man, I hope this fixes it. Okay. Set that down. Then we're going to put this back plate back on put all the screws back in okay let's stop it Go. so we got the gauges put back together we got the two ends soldered up we're gonna put this back in and Plug them up and see if it'll come on. It's kind of a tight fit and it's really awkward getting those plugs back in. But you just gotta wedge your hand back there and get it in. Okay. Let's turn the key and see. We got it. Shows miles. 202,000. That's not bad. I thought it had like 230,000 on it. So, boom, that worked, guys. We just took it apart, looked at both of those ends, soldered them up, and any other ones that looked crack, put it back together. All right. So before we put this back in, remember this little piece that was on the bottom, that was for the park. We got to set all it back up. You just basically get it up in there. Line up your black tabs and boom, see they just pop back in. Make sure this little white piece, it'll try to pop out of track. Just line it up, make sure it stays in, put it all back in there. And there you go. Got that piece back in. Again, so much easier than taking out the whole bottom of the dash and doing it from the other end. So now we're gonna put all of our seven millimeter screws back in here in the gauges. The plastic piece goes back on, it just snaps back on. There'll be three seven millimeters up here. The other ones inside the light switch, just pop everything back together. All right, we're going to put the light switch back in. Plug these two back up. There we go guys, got it all put back together. Miles are working, looking good.
Auto. We've got another project done. We're going to get this down to the lot and get it for sale.